How much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. A, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Hello. Good to have you. Now, let me have a look. That is one of my favorites. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with Let confidence. Let me vote. Let me vote. I can say this all day. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I will say this for as long as it takes. Come on, people. Let me vote. It'll keep you warm and looking your best. I have to say, that looks just fantastic on you. So, what do you think? Wearing it out? I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. You can really feel the quality of that one, right?
If you have any questions, you just let me know. Are you feeling good? Because you're looking great. My, my, I really think it's perfect for you. We have styles for all persuasions, but I'm sure you'll look good in anything you choose. Now that goes with just about any outfit. Thank you. People around here come in just for those. Make this country a real democracy. Stop disqualifying our population. Let women vote. Mm -hmm. And there you are. There are a few colors you can go with for this one. Now that will bring your outfit together. Much appreciated. Well, all right then. You can really feel the quality of that one, right? I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. You have exceptional taste. I want to vote. I insist that I deserve the right to vote. Hmm. You look as long as you like. Thank you. Uh, you don't see. I am an Let's animal. have a look here. That is a local favorite. Let women vote. A properly worn vest Let always vote. commands respect.
People around here come in just for those. Now that goes with just about any outfit. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Yeah, I dress in real fancy. You should see me. Call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I oh, even thought. Yeah, I thought she really wanted to become strong. I'm and begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter oh, and wanting yeah. better for her than than, than me? Oh. Then the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... It's not right. It's safe. Has always been right, Mary? With oh. you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazy. Oh, really old and hypocritical me. daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. Wow. Sorry. I am. Yeah, be kind to him. Let him go. Why are the people to I ask should help? Have you asked should have someone asked someone else. for someone who loved you. But it's well, killing I'm the best guy you so know. Just being loved. You know? She's not really it wasn't that caring about love how you, you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. 
We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Mm -hmm. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Just <laughs> know. Yeah. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. What? He's been oh, wearing a different gambling, pants? drinking, and other things. Oh, the I want to to God. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing we are going to Wow. Look at that. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. You mean to keep that saying didn't. it's a disgrace, a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's a man who ride my horse. Arthur. Properly. He wasn't always this, this way. But... I'm too bad if he has a horse. Not this what way. Head for the stables. I'm going to the He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Yeah. This is the plan. What kind of a state he's in? Sure. Oh, sure, we're with yellow. Oh, here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of <laughs> here. Wow. I said, just get out of here. Oh my god. I'm Listen, partner. Now. I'm waiting on the lady. The fine lady. It's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. <laughs> Make my apologies to the lady at your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. <laughs> Apology accepted. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. And I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Hey, Leave me be. He's just strong. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. He doesn't want to be Why, why should he insist on helping to people, no good. people that follow him. Okay. refuse to help? Oh, shit. Help me on here. This way. Can I shoot him? Can you do that? Hey, what the hell is going on here? Oh. Oh. I guess he spotted me. I thought he was too, too drunk to notice the gunshot. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm just cool. What's going on here? Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. That was the second gun in here. Oh, but no be necessary. This way. 
Across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Bring them down, bring them down. You don't see me for sure. Okay. Hey, bring me down. What's he doing? What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Oh, he's jerking off or something. Waiting for a woman to do his morals. He's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Is it pretending to be drunk? Here's the money. <laughs> Ooh, that is beautiful. Family heir. That was mother's Family. brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks yeah, who take drunk. loans from you. He's not he's to sell. It's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. <laughs> you been well? Daddy. Yeah, I guess it's you. Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Yeah, yeah, oh my. Where, where the hell is the bike? Hey, bet my horse, Daddy. Hey, you, hey! What the hell? Why are you so right fucking there? bright like I'm in heaven or something? <laughs> Is that the wagon? Okay. Can you get a horse? Get a horse?
get my own brush on the boat. Where is it? Get out of there! Oh, that's the way. I can't even see you. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. my girlfriend so I have to be nice about it not kill because she said to do it. <laughs> I don't want to be a chance to be there no I don't I mean I don't want to be a chance of art to make this to work out for you know? where's your phone? I don't know I mean, you find him again? not really now, does she really Let's care about the father or the brooch? Maybe she's sick to do that. Thank you. Ah, that's that. No, she didn't. She just wanted help. She looked pretty much this part. No one would come. Yeah. Got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. I was sure I can kill him then. She said I won't Hey. Ask. Yeah, I killed the dude. What are you doing now? Right this moment. I guess. <laughs> You're asking me well, out? I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Oh, that's sweet. Head to the theater, perhaps. Oh, sure. That would make him happy for sure. Theater? Me? <laughs> sure, why not? It'll be fun. Or what if I say no? Let's go to the Relure. <laughs> they have the strangest acts. <laughs> Strangest I can handle. Oh, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. You. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> you're an idiot, but you'll always be my friend. Ah, uh, he she I'm just your friend, friends over him. You ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so. Shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. <laughs> You're not a very nice woman. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <gasps> oh. Sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. Oh, oh yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <laughs> Sweet, I'll take a photo. <clears throat> Silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. Oh. How geez. about here on the right? This is so cool. cool. After you. Thanks. I love you this part. I'm just like over the exit. I'm Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest Cute. assembler of entertainment oh, since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as start a now. Are you the greatest Arthur? show ever assembled? Prepare. For the grandest excitement of your curiosity, fire, snakes, and magic, I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. Ooh. Nice. Round of applause. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Saint Denis. Yeah, speaking of Boston, I remember that because I think the beautiful juice too is out. I saw it in some shorts everywhere. Recently. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I'm not even know what we're doing. Well, we need to watch it. Yeah, let's watch it. It's better than the previous one. Way, way much better. Tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. <laughs> you are about to do both. Wow, <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sansovino. Sansovino. Wow, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be amazing. Oh, <gasps> whoa, okay, it's, it's gonna be fucking amazing. Oh, look, jeez. She's on fire, right?
my art to get to know I'm doing this. I don't know which one is more dangerous, after going out shooting or this thing. Oh, this is more dangerous. One wrong move just burst into flames. Oh, they have a poster of her in the background, which is very, very cool. Did they put the, 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 did they change the poster background each time? I didn't notice the first one. Let me just try to pay attention. Enchanting. Yeah. She is truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Wow. Okay. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris! Hmm.
<laughs> Incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. And soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will once I get some money. I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town and I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. 